Yes, there has been one. Not one, but many. In Tibet, uh, there came one missionary, and uh, they were very happy with the missionary, and the entire village became Christian. And uh, till 1959, when Chinese people occupied China, occupied Tibet, till that time, when that community was there, they had their own church, they were very happy. So, it is, there is no such kind of thing. And in Hatha, we have Muslim uh, mosque in Hatha. We have uh, Muslim, uh, Tibetan Muslim. We have Tibetan Christian. Because you see, Buddha has said that with all, and also, this we have been discussing about you know, diversity, the religious diversity. Religious diversity is a beautiful you know, phenomenon. If you have a garden with only one flower of one color, just white, you want to you know, enjoy that garden. If you have different flowers with different kinds of colors, then you would enjoy the garden. If you go to a restaurant which has only one dish, you won't go again, right? If you have a lot of different kinds of dishes, then you won't go <laughs> diversity. In fact, our human mind is human, different human mind with different dispositions and intellectual, you know, uh, state needs a different food. One religion cannot suit everybody. It is foolish to think like that. So even within Buddhism, there are different schools. One philosophical attitude, one philosophical system cannot fulfill the mental attitude of every Buddhist and Buddhist philosophers. They are different philosophical schools. So diversity is a nature, it's natural, natural choice of human beings. So if you understand the richness of the diversity, then we can accept the diversity.